human rights. Statement before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Delivered by John Kerry. These are just some of the starting points that I have started five months ago. Let's backtrack. It all started when my mom introduced me to a little project. You see, I was part of this little study group, and then they started this study group and project that they would do the top 100 American speeches of the 20th century. At first, I was reluctant, but then, after a while, I was convinced. I was convinced, and that was how I started the top 100 speeches series that I that's been going on for five months. With the first speech on the list, Martin Luther King Jr.'s "I Have a Dream." And since then, I've been doing all the speeches in rank order, and now I finally completed it with the John Forbes Kerry Vietnam Veterans Against the War. Of course, this isn't the only speeches that are on American rhetoric, but these are the top 20th century's 100 speeches that scholars have ranked. And ever since, I thought I made a good decision. And ever since, I created a speech every week from Monday to Friday. Five speeches every week. And now, they're all available in a playlist of 250, of like, uh... Over 200 episodes, including Dark Sean background information and a part and a full speech version. I haven't done the full speech versions of a few speeches, but bear with me, guys. I have done all of the parts. I hope you guys enjoy the, all these episodes because I worked so hard making these. And so, how did I do? And how did all this start? I already told you how all of this started. And so, let me tell you the production of how all this started, of how you make, how we made these. Here's a photo of the studio for the Top 100 Speeches. You can recognize this as the board that I use markers to draw on and write on, to write the title, the official title, and the writer, the presenter, the date, and the place, if it is said, that is. This one is for the 100th episode, which is a premiere, which is I added, which is why I added that. Now, you can see here a piece of paper. This piece of paper is the paper that I used to do the speech. And I, yeah, and I don't choose which part I do. The study group that I mentioned chooses two minutes of the speech for me and writes it down onto the study group page. And I just read it from there. And ever since I started making Dark Sean episodes of background formation, I've always made contents. This is basically my notes. And the parts that I have memorized, at least currently, I don't write down. Now, this is the tripod where I put on the camera so that I can do the speeches. And if you notice, I twist my head around a lot. That's because, for some reason, I've got a crick in my neck for, like over a year now and so i have to do this i hope you guys don't mind but i had to do that to like do a lot of things well some of the speeches i didn't do because they're too long like the filibuster which takes like over an hour and i don't want an over an hour speech on this but i think i will make it someday but currently there's no plan on making it one day i went to camp with my cat and i was had to do the speech and so I did it by the countryside. And in one of the episodes, you might have seen, like, me doing this. In one of the videos, I had to pause because there was a bee next to me. And if I moved a much more, it would sting me. So I had my mom pause the video. And then she, like, I had to stay still so that it didn't seem like it changed at all. And then the bee was gone. After the bee was gone, we started recording it. When the bee appeared again, we paused, waited until the bee went away. And I continued. You know how scared I am of bees? I'm like triple scared. I've never been stung in my life, but I do not want to experience a bee sting. Sometimes I'm glad that I'm in China because it's always cold or too hot. And, I mean, bees like hot weather, but it's rare in this place to have hot weather. In fact, it's, sometimes it's always cold. And whenever we get bees, like, yeah. Anyways, that's how one of the behind-the-scenes things is like. And now 
yeah, there's so much that's been happening ever since I started that first episode. I thank everyone who's been supporting me along the episodes. And I've gone through all of the effort to actually make all these videos. And I just hope you guys enjoy the whole series. And I, and I want to say something. I dedicate these episodes of the Top 100 spe Speeches to the Americans who have descendants in America today. The people who presented all these speeches, descendants, I dedicate you to, if they're alive, or if there are any, that is. Special thanks to my mom, who introduced me to the Top 100 Speeches. And I can't thank her enough. Through all the things that have happened, I also thank my cute, Cla cute cat, Claude, who's been with me for every episode, beside me, underneath me, or sometimes even carried by me into the camera. I thank both of them, and I thank all of you viewers for watching this. By the way, guys, please, 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 please watch my episodes because I really want to get into the monetization program. So, I'll see you guys soon. Shnan out. Peace. See you guys in a new series of Hunter and Sean. See you guys soon. Shnan out. Peace.